Hey everybody, it's Michael, the Texas Auction Picker. I have had a great eBay week this week. Haven't sold a thing on Amazon in about a month and a half, but eBay has been incredibly good this week. I'm at about 20 sales for roughly $1,300. Uh, this is my best eBay week ever, far and away. Um, I'm going to show you some of the sales I've made this week. I've done some really good stuff. Um, and then I've also got some stuff that I picked up over the past week here to show you. I'm uh, going to start right here with this. Uh, my mom actually bought this at a garage sale over the weekend. Um, she'd seen I'd bought one of these rock band sets before uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, she paid ten dollars for it. Talked them down from fifteen. Um, the drums are actually not wireless, but they're still okay, and they're also missing the pedal. But um, they're still, they're still, they'll still sell pretty well. I've got these listed for thirty dollars or best offer just for the drums. With the, um, I got the drumsticks actually here with them. And that's one listing I've gotten. Then the second listing, I put everything else into the second listing. I got the two guitars, the Gibson Les Paul and the Fender Stratocaster, and the two Rock Band games, and I got the dongles for them. Uh, when you buy these guitars, if you get them for the Xbox 360, all you need is the guitar because the wire, uh, when you've got the wireless ones, um, the Xbox 360 has a wireless has the wireless receiver already built into the system, so you don't need anything else for them. But if you've got the PS3 version of the wireless guitars, you have to have these. These plug into the PlayStation 3 system, and they are the receivers for the signal from your wireless guitars. Most of the time, I see the PlayStation 3 ones; they don't have these, so I typically stay away from them. You actually can sell the dongles on their own for around $35 a piece. Um, I put all this together, the two guitars, the dongles, the two Rock Band games for $100 or best offer. And, you know, I'll probably take, I've only got, only having $10 in the whole set, I'll, I'll take probably $60 or $80 for them. But uh, I believe I got, the last time I had a pair of guitars, I got a $50 or $60 for them without the dongles. So, you know, $80 should be a good price to have both guitars. Um, some of the other stuff I got this week, I got a couple of nice Paul Frederick ties here. These are pretty decent money. I've got them listed for $20 a piece. I think I may have a best offer on them, but uh, they were $2, and I just, I love the colors in them. This one's kind of, kind of, sh the color shifts to a blue and purple, depending on the angle you're at. Might not show up that well on the camera. I've done really good well with board games this week. I hadn't I hadn't bought any board games in quite a while because I hadn't really found anything other than maybe about a month ago that uh, Millsborn card game. But um, board games I just haven't really been finding any of. But this week I found one, two, three. I found four really good board games. Well, three really good board games. One okay board game. Uh, all for two bucks a piece. Uh, the first one I don't have here. It is Star Wars Epic Duels. I bought it on Monday or Tuesday and sold it the next day for 50 bucks. Um, Star Wars Epic Duels actually will go for upwards of 70 or 80, uh, but this one had a bit of a cigarette odor to it, kind of a stale hotel room kind of smell. Not, not real like a real fresh, strong smell, but it was definitely there. And so I, I actually put it up on a one day auction, starting bid of $50. I got, I got one bid for 50, I was thrilled with that. Um, I was happy to let that go for the, for 50 just having the $2 in it. But the others I got this week, um, this is the one that's just kind of okay. This is Lord of the Rings Trivial Pursuit. I bought it because it was r sitting right there next to, uh, on the shelf next to Lord of the Rings Risk, which is a really good one. I've got, um, two like I said, $2 a piece in these. Uh, this is about $15 on eBay. That's what I've got it listed at. And uh, then Lord of the Rings Risk is... I should get about 54, 50 to 60. Um, and then I got the Deluxe Scrabble. If you get the one, if you can find the Deluxe Scrabble with the, you know, it's got the big plastic board with a turntable base. This is on really good condition and complete. Um, this would be a 50, about a $50 game, but you know, it does have, this one has the splits on the corner. So I listed this for 40. And I believe all of these are ending later tonight. So hopefully I'll add a few more sales onto there. 
onto my total for the week. Uh, picked this brand new sealed puzzle up for three bucks. Thousand piece Buffalo Games puzzle. Uh, not sure what it would bring on its own. What I'm probably going to do is bundle this with some other Buffalo Games puzzles I've got that I haven't sold yet. Uh, the rest of what I've got going to have here is going to be clothing. Um, it's a bit of a mess because I shot this video once and went too long and it stopped. So I'm having to redo it, try to fit everything into one video. I got a really great Kooji shirt here. Let me put this down and I'll spread this out a little better. Love the bright colors on this. And it's you can see the it's got the parrot and the Kooji. It says Kooji there. It's got the parrot. I'm going to have to... It's got a little stain right here on the sleeve. I paid uh, $4.49 for this, I believe. And it's got a little stain. I'm going to have to wash it before I list it. But it's... It's a really great looking shirt. Probably get $30, $40 for that. I bought this blouse here. This was not a brand I was familiar with, but I loved the graphics on it. Nice little pop art thing there and on the back as well. And I, I went ahead and bought this. I think I paid about $3.50 for it. And the brand name is... Custock Barcelona. I looked these up. They sell pretty well. Uh, some of them sell for set up to 70, 80 bucks. I put this on an auction just because I wasn't sure what to list it at, and I started put a starting bid of 30 on it. On it, you may, it may, uh, it might sell tonight, or I might have to relist it. Um, also got a pair of Kooji jeans here. These are in really good condition. I paid five dollars for these. They got really good looking on the back here. You got the metal, the metal label tag there. Paid five dollars for those, and those should bring me thirty or forty. Have a couple of Tommy Bahama shirts here. I picked up for about four dollars each. These are really nice shirts. I got these listed for $30 a piece on eBay. Then I bought this. This is a Tony Dorsett college jersey. Pittsburgh, University of Pittsburgh, 1976. It's, it's, it's a reproduction. It's not an original from the 70s. But it's in really great condition. I paid 3 or $4 for this. I don't remember exactly, but... Real nice condition. I've listed it on eBay for 40 or best offer. This is a Ralph Lauren golf, golf skirt. I paid $4 for this at Goodwill. Uh, got it. It's in really nice condition. Looks like it was barely, if ever, worn. Almost brand new. Um, got it listed for 40 or best offer on eBay. And I'm going to stop this right here, and I'll come back with part two with a little sales update.